in 2020, I feel like we have lost this kind of like sense of safety and the sense of just like what our normal is. Our fight against an invisible enemy has turned life in America upside down. The outbreak spreading across the U.S. The anticipation of what may happen has us not just cold, but frozen. Hey everyone, this is Emmy. And I'm Nick. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our quarantine cation. So, <laughs> we're back with another episode of Quarantine Cation. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> So, Quarantine Cation is a show where Emmy and I discuss how we're getting through quarantine. Yes. Or just COVID life in general. A global pandemic. Mm-hmm. But before we get into the conversation, a word from today's sponsor. The Commonwealth and all of our media properties are supported by Runza Restaurants. Oh, yes. Runza. Runza. I forgot to tell Emmy that we were reading an ad. Um, yeah, you did. Yes. But here we are. All right, so um, Emmy and I were first quarantined in early March, mm-hmm. and what was the thing that made that got us through that quarantine, as related to, to, to today's sponsor? Um, so we were on the news. They asked me and Nick, or Nick and I, what we were most looking forward to when we were going to get out of quarantine, and the thing that we were most looking forward to was eating some runs. What was what was that first thing you ordered? Some chicken strips. Chicken strips with I, I know her I know her runza. Yeah, order tell everybody runza. my runza order. Okay, so Emmy gets chicken strips with barbecue sauce and honey mustard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a runza ranch guy myself, so I <laughs> always get runzas ranch whenever we get through. But yeah, when we're talking about ways to make it through quarantine. Runza is the ticket. Yes, sir. Just in general, your heart might be feeling like it's getting a little cold with the cold weather, but you just need some Runza to warm it on up. And it's actually chilly and cinnamon roll season at Runza. Yeah. So for a limited time, it's like a seasonal thing. And if you've never tried chili and cinnamon rolls, go to Runza because theirs is dank sauce. Dank Our- sauce. Everybody loves Runza. Go and to Runza. Yes. All right, Emmy. So we were quarantined last week. We're officially out of quarantine. We both had COVID. For real. Um, yeah, for real, for real. Yes, yeah. Um, what, like, how are you feeling since the last time we updated the quarantine cation listeners? Well, we were actually sick with COVID and, mm-hmm. like, actually felt like poop. Um, but now, feeling better, I think I had all this energy built up to, like, go back to work and live life like normal again. But... Today, it kind of hit me, and I was tired. I was exhausted. I still am exhausted and been running around like a mad woman with my head cut off, but uh, yes. I'm fine. How about you? Sorry. I, uh, no, you're fine. I, I just keep interrupting me. Keep it up. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, okay. So, I had the same. I was just going to agree with what you were saying, that I had the same like fatigue and stuff, even that we're like, our quarantine is cleared and been approved by doctors and stuff, and... I was still like just exhausted today. Yeah. Um. So the two week sickness has expanded much, like beyond that. I'm like we're still not 100. percent Um. So what? But we're well enough to be going back to work. Like we don't have COVID anymore. We're just tired. Yes. Yes. So and now that we're like back to like normal 2020 living, what's gotten you through the past week? Anything in particular? What has gotten me through? Well. In general, like, the thought of being back at work is really, uh, honestly, like, beneficial for me. Like, I actually like being at work because when I was away from work, I was stressed out about what was happening at school and Mm -hmm. what needed to be fixed. So, I'm glad that I'm back and I can kind of, like, figure out how to get us back on track. I like having that structure. So, just, like, being back with structure has been nice. Okay. Um... Oh, you wanted something different. No, no, no. That's so. Emmy teaches at Lincoln Public Schools, and that our like area of the country is currently surging with coronavirus. Um, how has that, um, like, what? How has that impacted like school in general? In general, well, and just in general, like this whole education in a global pandemic is something that all teachers, all students, all families are affected by. And everybody is just like learning the new normal of school. And I would say lately, 
it's stressful just because Lincoln moved into the red on Friday and COVID cases are increasing. And I think in general, people just want to feel like a sense of safety. Mm -hmm. And that's like the overall goal for everybody, no matter what, how things are already. Like in 2020, I feel like we have lost this kind of like sense of safety and this sense of just like what our normal is. So it's kind of stressful. And then being away for so long was really hard too. There's no consistency. So I don't know. Honestly, I forgot what the question was. So <laughs> no, yeah, no, just like now that COVID is surging. Oh how yeah. Has that like changed? The, because like originally the plan was for, for school to go fully remote when Lincoln when moved to the red. Now we're working with the health department as a public school district and that is what we're doing. Well, if they tell us to go to school, we're going to school. Mm -hmm. It's like a snow day. If they tell us we have a snow day, then we have a snow day. Otherwise, we're going to school. Um, so my thing that's gotten me through this past week is good podcasts. Mm -hmm. And you you talked about my favorite murder is Emmy's favorite podcast. Yes, it is. Yes. And um, there was a shout out to Lincoln today, our, our, our hometown. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. It was, mon well, Monday's episode. They were doing the um, throwback episode and they went all the way back to like when they first started their show. In 2016, and they were pulling mini sods or, okay. or like things that people had written in to go on to the mini sods. And they pulled one from Lincoln, and I freaked out and I texted Nick right away and I was like, You have to listen in all caps. They shouted out Lincoln. So I got really excited about it. But what about you? Tell me your favorite podcast of the week so far. So today, there's a comedian, Burt Kreischer, who I thought I watched with you. Um, Slowly getting Emmy in a stand up comedy. Yes, yeah, so we're on a Dave Chappelle kick. Huge Dave Chappelle kick. Um, but Burt Kreischer had a viral YouTube video called the uh, the well the machine is like a big like kind of shtick throughout it, um, and it's all about him robbing a Russian, uh, robbing a train with a Russian mafia, and um, the uh, he goes on this podcast, and the concept of the podcast is like comedians talking about how they wrote write jokes mm -hmm. and i thought this whole like story he told was like very fictionalized but it was interesting to hear him talk about how like he had to take things away and like really like hone down the story and it was like all true which i didn't appreciate it was one of those it was like a 90 minute long podcast and i really loved every minute of it today and i was listening to it right when you were you texted me about my favorite murder oh this morning yes yes i was what we were just vibing to good podcasts at the same time yeah we were we usually are in sync like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to have to give it a listen. I like having something to listen to while I'm like at school and my plan time and trying to get everything organized for an unorganized life. Yeah, have you listened to more or less podcasts in the last, like, since pre-pandemic? Um, I don't know. I would say pre-pandemic, I listened a lot. I would say now um, I've gotten more into listening. If it were like in the summertime and you were asking me this question, I would say I'm not listening to any podcasts. But as like life has kind of returned and we're going to work again and mm -hmm. I, my drive, like when I drive every morning is when I throw on a podcast. And then when I'm doing some downtime and working, I listen to a podcast. Yeah. Now we're recording a podcast. Heck yeah, talking about podcasts on a podcast. Woo woo. Love that for mm -hmm. us. You're looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can't forget we're podcasting right now. No, we can't. Yeah, we're just staring into each other's eyes. <laughs> okay, what's next? So the next is Emmy's suggested topic of tell me something good. And I asked first, so you have to go first. Tell me something good, Emmy. Okay, just to give some context to this, every day, or almost every single day, I'll ask Nick to tell me something good. And so, I thought it would be nice for us to incorporate this into our little podcast. So, you want me to tell you something good? Mm-hmm. Um, 
I have enjoyed spending every single day with you yeah, for the last over two weeks. And I feel like we're having a moment right now. Yeah. And I like it. How so? What's the moment we're having? I don't know. We're just looking into each other's eyes and I'm getting distracted. Yeah. It's been a long day. Yeah, I know. I'm also pretty... Pooped? Pretty pooped, but I have a bunch of stuff to do after this, so... Oh, you know. I'll cheer you on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Tell me something good. Tell you something good. Um, make it romantic. Make it romantic. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to. So, the holidays are right, right around the corner. I know. And we get to spend the holidays again, or together again. I know. And I do like the holiday season. I wonder how much difference it's going to be. Different. It's going to be much different, mm-hmm. like without the big gatherings and... Even like we were talking about having a Friendsgiving around Thanksgiving and getting 15 people together in the while the pandemic is surging does not seem like the play. No. Um, Virtual. So like a lot of <laughs> uh, what I I really like like the season between Thanksgiving and New Year's because it's a ch- like chance for everyone to get together and celebrate and mm-hmm. just spend time with one another and that's my like pretty much only reason why I like the holiday uh, the holiday season. So it's. Um, It'll just be different. It will be. But we'll get to do it together again. Mm-hmm. It'll be nice. I'm excited. I'm excited to spend time with your family. And hopefully you're excited to spend time with my family. Yes. And maybe we can convince our, my sister to let us in one of her little videos. That was probably like the best thing that happened to us in quarantine. Was my sister's video that she sent me. Yes. Describe the video. So, really quickly, before we end this, um, last week, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, because I put it on my story, but I asked my sister to send me a picture of a package I had received to my grandparents' house because we were in Omaha doing quarantine, and she was taking a really long time to respond, and I was like, well, maybe she's just ignoring me. And then, like, a couple of hours later, I get this, like, completely edited and just, like, fabulous video from her. And it was her trying on and doing, like, an unboxing video of the stuff I got in the mail. And it was so funny. It was so funny. Like, I was crying, laughing when we opened it. And you were cracking up. It was good. Yeah, she has a, um, she's a feature as a blogger. I think she should. Yeah. Like, every single detail that she put into that video was just, like, exactly what it needed. Do you think we're going to see if we can play this after? Play it on here? Yeah. Well, we could put it up somewhere. Stay tuned. We We want you to see this video. Yes. It's really good. Yeah. Anything else, Emmy, to leave the viewers with? Am I forgetting something? No, no. Do you have anything else to add? Um, Do you like doing this with me? Yeah, I do. Do you like doing this? Yeah. What's your favorite part? Um, a fun project to, to do together. Yeah. I do think we need to like kind of hone in like the exact topics. So if you have any suggestions about what we should talk about, <laughs> leave a comment. Okay. We're going we're gonna to end it there, folks. But before we end it, another word from our sponsor, Runza. Again, Runza restaurants, great for the chili and cinnamon rolls right now. Temperature Tuesday is coming up in January, um, and it is our favorite spot. Yep. You know me and my little crinkle fries from Runza. Mm-hmm. Give me a large. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>